Okay, well, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I've got this trailer here, and uh, I'm going to try to attempt to wire it. It has wires back here where uh, the previous owner had uh, put uh, lights on the back, but it was a little bit of a different type of uh, uh, wiring on it, but I'm going to attempt to do a trailer wiring on this from a, from a four-wheeler, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this and what I am going to put on this trailer. So, first up, we got the wiring in the back of the trailer here. We got, uh, not the wiring, but the, the lights. So, I'm going to put the light, both lights on the, like that, right there. And hopefully they work. I'm going to have to wire this, uh, probably end up soldering or hopefully I can bolt it to the the trailer. I'm going to do a uh, grounded trailer frame. So, they're very efficient, depending on uh, who you ask. I think I think they're very efficient. I've had trailers that are like that and they work pretty good. But, let's go ahead and, first of all, let's go ahead and disconnect this without being shocked to death. Well, it's only 12 volts, but still. Um, so, my first thing is, Okay, we'll look at it. This is the trailer, right? We're gonna try to match this up with one of these. Whichever one I like. I like this one, because it has one, it has this thing, and it'd be nice, but I kinda see it as a, a waste of time to do something like that. So, I do have this, but this is for a trailer. So, I like the cover on it. The cover's nice. Well, actually what I can do is I can swap them all, uh, swap this piece off of that and put it on this. This one. And boom, there we go. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. I've gone completely crazy there for a second because I'm not trying to wire up the ATV itself. I'm trying to wire up the trailer. So, first of all, what I need is something like this. So, put that like that. I I can do that, or I could splice this. I can add it on the other end and splice it. Man, this is a tough decision. So, give me a second, I'm going to decide which one I'm going to use. Okay, I don't know if it caught the first part, but okay. Um, so I figured it out, and you know how I had to inverse uh, the wires? I put them, I, I inverse them back. And I am going to use this. Now, this isn't the right piece. It's, uh, this one's for, like, the vehicle itself. You put it into the trailer. This is the trailer part. This is the vehicle. But the way I figure it, I can always, uh, make something where I can put it to another vehicle. Uh, just have an adapter piece for it so I can hook up to another vehicle. But right now, I'm just going to be using this for four-wheeler or lawnmower. Mostly four-wheeler. But... The way I'm going to start this is, right now, I am going to try to wire this up underneath the trailer. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to flip the trailer upside down. But, I think I'm first going to start working uh, with the, the wiring, getting the old wiring off and uh, putting the new wiring on. And then trying to see how well these, uh, these LED, uh, not, they're not LEDs, but they're lights. They're just trailer lights uh, with bulb, bulb lights. I'm going to try to put them on, so I guess I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and say hello to B.I. She's just over there. Hey, B.I. I'm over here. She don't care. Alright, so put you guys on the tripod and let's get this, uh, let's get this done. Alright, so here we are back with the trailer and, uh, I'm going to disconnect it from the, the trailer hitch and I'm going to, uh, Flip it upside down and hopefully uh, start working on the wiring. So, better hurry up and get to it. It's getting dark. I'm gonna try to put the wiring and everything on there and yeah, hopefully I get that done. Okay, so I got uh, the lights on. Well, it looks night a lot like daylight in the video, but it's getting dark outside. But I got the lights on and there's one thing I wanted to test out was make sure the lights work. Let's do that. Let's 
Rosita. Forgot I undid the line. I don't need to see. All right, let's see if uh. That's gonna look nice. All right, catch you when uh when everything else is done. Okay, guys. Well, it's probably been about an hour, and uh, yeah, it's pitch dark out here. Ignore the star uh, can of starting fluid there. I was just using it to spray mosquitoes and stuff. Not really working. I don't have any bug spray at the moment. Need to get some. But uh, yeah, I've got it all wired up. So I haven't got it all finished. Like, I haven't gotten it, ta like, uh, I haven't nailed the wires down. I haven't, you know, put electrical tape on them, you know, made them nice and, uh, secure. But, you know, I'm just going to do a test run on them. And so let's see if it works. Alright, got the cable here. Okay, moment of truth. Wow, uh-oh. Over here. Well, one works. I don't know what happened to the other one. It, it I, I don't know if it blew a bulb or not. I'll be back. I'm gonna get my flashlight and we'll check it out. All right, I'm back and uh, let's see if this uh, this bulb blew. Hopefully it didn't. Gonna stop. What a ripoff, man. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that crap. That bulb wasn't even on there. That's why it blew. I just tried to gently wiggle it out, and now it's going to be a whole ordeal. Look at that. That's... Man, I hope I didn't break it like that. I hope it was like that from like the factory or something. Man, that really sucks. Man, come on. I don't even know if I have another backup uh, spare bulb or not, but I guess I can go check. So I guess I'll be back. Okay, I got the other bulb in now, the new bulb. Let's see if it works. And if it blows out, then there's something wrong. Now that's what it's supposed to be like. I don't have you in focus there, that kind of sucks. Oh man, come on, Agra. That's not even the one I was using. Like, I had taken the cover off and I'd taken it all over the place. It was the, it was the one right here I was using. I wasn't even using that one, that was in the bag. All right. I think it looks pretty good. So, it's got a nice glow on the bottom. So let me go uh, turn off the other light and let's see how let's see how uh, how good it is. Well, hang on, let me put that cover on. All right, let's see how bright they are.
Well, that's pretty good. They're pretty bright. I like it already. All right, well, I'm just going to go around, and I guess I'm going to show you real quick what I've done. All right, I'll be back. Let me adjust there. All right. So, as you can see right here, i got to go back with uh, electrical tape. But, let me focus it more. But, yeah, i got to go back with electrical tape. So, I got it hooked up to the light. I popped this board off. I don't know if I showed you that or not. But, uh, I got both wires... I got one single wire just going across this, and you may be wondering, how is it linking up? And uh, I said earlier that I was going to uh, ground the wire to the trailer, like they do nowadays. They'll ground it to the trailer. But I I just went ahead, and I was like, you know what? It's just a waste of time just to take this and ground it to that, and then take the actual piece and ground it to uh, the frame. So I was like, well, I might as well just connect it to the wire itself. So what I did was I went, I cut around the wire on two spots. I went with my knife and I shaved it off and I uh, took it off and I put the wire through. Uh, well, I opened it up, put the wire through and then uh, uh, sprung the wire around and then I uh, tightened it, uh, clamped it together and boom, there we go. So I've seen that, I've seen that on YouTube, so... This guy on YouTube, what he did was uh, he did that and uh, without soldering or anything, put electrical tape around it. And that's the thing, I don't know how I'm going to do electrical tape around it, but I'll figure it out. So, But I guess I'm going to take a break for a second and I'm going to go around and put the uh, stuff on. I wish I could show that, but you know, it's pitch dark out here. Can't even see anything. But uh, alright, I guess I'll show you when it's done. All right, get you down for the tripod here. All right, I went around and got some uh, electrical tape on all of them. Let's see, even uh, cap this off. I didn't cap it off, but I capped it off with uh, electrical tape. And I went and I uh, added. There they are. And I should have added one of these, but I recycled these from the other wiring. It was, I, they should have really used this one, like this type. But I got them on there. These two wires, and I got the, the four wire right here, trailer wire right there, got it right here, and I got it right here so the plug ain't dragging on the ground. And I also added this little uh, the cover right here. And is there a way I can? I'm gonna do that. I can't turn the light on or anything. Oh, just kind of hoping I could. But I added the the cover piece right there on it, and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna flip this around, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, I love it. See how far we back we can go, and uh, we can see that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I shouldn't have a problem being seen now. All right, just one last thing I got to do. Not do. Put these down more. All right. Give me a minute. There we go. Wow, I like that. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, like, comment, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Just know that you watch this video and you probably learned something which I doubt you did because you probably already know it but if you did learn something good for you so I know I learn everything from videos every day watching on YouTube I'll watch more videos than I made <laughs> but uh yep I think that's gonna be it for for uh, this video so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one whenever that is which should probably be soon hopefully I don't know but uh, I'm going to try to find a uh, editing software because I, kn I know I need to get an editing software to edit these uh, videos and, you know, make them nice. I mean, right now these are just raw, uncut videos. Well, the only thing that's cut in them is like where I pause it and I play it when I, whenever I need to. Oh, made it lighter. 
But anyway, yep, that's gonna be the end of this video. So, be eyes over there, playing hide and seek in the dark. But, uh, yep, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, that's the end of this video. Bye, guys.